Throughout the countless eons of the ancient world, our planet has witnessed some of the most terrifying and destructive creatures ever imagined by the primordial ooze. While we may imagine that the monsters of old are creatures that are safely confined to the fictional realms of fantasy and science fiction, the truth is we need only scratch the surface of ancient history to catch a glimpse of their true horror. From the most ravenous feline imaginable to the largest serpent this planet has ever seen, here's 15 terrifying animals you're glad are extinct. Sabertooth Tiger. All right, for our first entry into this wildlife tour of terrifying creatures, strap on in because we're turning our gaze toward one of the most iconic and truly ferocious animals of the ancient world. In the prehistoric era of the planet Earth, the wild was teeming with some of the most vicious and ferocious creatures ever known. However, few of them possessed the ferocity of the biggest of all big cats, the saber-toothed tiger, perhaps one of the most celebrated and fascinating predators of the ancient world. Believe it or not, but it's thought that this incredible species of saber-toothed cat were once found worldwide and existed on our planet between 42 million years and up to as early as 11,000 years ago. Perhaps the most common species of saber-toothed tiger was the Smilodon, which would have looked remarkably similar to many modern-day felines, you know, just with a few added extra features, like a fierce gaze and long, flattened canines resembling a set of jaws filled with daggers. Not so dissimilar to a house cat, right? Things that people don't understand is that this was the dominant type of big cat animal. Considering the terrifying sharp teeth at this creature's disposal, it's incredibly likely that few other prehistoric creatures of the Ice Age could have ever faced down against the saber tooth. After all, it's considered the biggest of all big cats for a reason. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Gigantosaurus. With a name like Gigantosaurus, it's no wonder that this terrifying colossal creature made its mark on this primordial world, also known as the giant southern lizard. The Gigantosaurus was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs ever discovered that roamed the wilderness of the modern-day Argentina during the late Cretaceous period, roughly around 97 million years ago. While you may have thought that the iconic Tyrannosaurus rex, also known as the king of all dinosaurs, was the biggest and most baddest villain in the valley, it seemed that these carnivorous dinosaurs had some fierce competition, and this giant incarnation is believed to have been comparatively larger than its T-Rex rival. Also, it's pretty important to note that we shouldn't confuse the Gigantosaurus with a similarly named Gigantosaurus, a lesser-known sauropod discovered in England. Because, yeah, those things are tiny compared to this monster lizard. First described back in 1995, the Gigantosaurus was believed to have been measured in at about 41 feet long from head to tail, and weighed in at a staggering 8.8 .8 tons. That's pretty darn hefty. Believed to have walked upright on two large and powerful legs, researchers believe that this giant beast would have been fairly agile thanks to its thin, pointed tail. It was also a little bit longer than T-Rex on the whole, so it had a certain size advantage potentially suggesting something similar to a giant raptor. Yeah, we wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> Sarcosuchus. Okay, it's almost impossible to talk about terrifying ancient creatures without addressing the elephant in the room. Well, more importantly, the crocodile in the room. Because as one of the longest lived species on the planet, it's safe to say that the modern day versions of razor toothed snapping crocs have remained relatively unchanged compared to their ancient ancestors. Believe it or not, but crocodiles as a whole are the ultimate survivors, and having arisen around 200 million years ago, they even managed to outlive the dinosaurs by around 65 million years. That's some going. Well, it would make sense then that the closest ancestor is the biggest crocodile to have ever lived, the Sarcosuchus, a literal nightmare that once ravaged the seven seas with unrivaled ferocity. Measuring in at over 40 feet in length, the Sarcosuchus was a meat-eating powerhouse unlike any other, and yet would have pretty much resembled the modern-day crocs, remaining relatively unchanged throughout its evolution. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Weighing in at over 10 tons, amazingly, research has suggested that the super croc had an incredibly unique genetic condition. Throughout its lifespan, it would never stop growing, meaning that there may be an even larger version of this terrifying creature yet to be discovered. <laughs> Titanoboa 
Speaking of the biggest and baddest super croc to have ever lived, this list just wouldn't be complete without paying homage to the most terrifying serpent that's ever slithered its way across the planet, a creature that was so large that the ancient Peruvian people of the Amazon believed it to be an ancient godlike figure, the Yakumama, or the Water Mother, a giant serpent that protected the still waters and lakes of the Peruvian Amazon. Well, as it turns out, she was very much real. Let us introduce you to Titanoboa, the largest snake to have ever been unearthed, one that measured in at over 50 feet in length and weighed around 2,500 pounds. This giant, here's an illustration for you. If you laid two giraffes on the ground and was so huge that it could devour gigantic crocodiles whole. Truly, the Titanoboa is the stuff of nightmares, and when you attempt to comprehend the sheer scale of this colossal creature, it's difficult not to mistake it for the concept design of a horror movie monster. Residing in the swampy waters of what is now Colombia, the Titanoboa lurked among the undergrowth roughly around 60 million years ago, where it was, as you may imagine, the apex predator of the region. Researchers speculate that its massive size is down to its environment, spending the majority of its life in the weightless swamps of the prehistoric ecosystem. Incredibly, it's believed that the Titanoboa was over 10 times heavier than the average green anaconda, the largest and heaviest snake alive today. Mm -hmm. Spinosaurus If you thought that dinosaurs were strictly land animals, then think again, because recent fossilized evidence has revealed the first known swimming dinosaur, a creature known as the Spinosaurus that plunged into the ancient oceans just as easily as it tore its way throughout the dense tropical jungles. Believed to have been measured in at longer than an adult Tyrannosaurus rex, the Spinosaurus measured in at over 50 feet long and weighed a staggering 7 tons. It's been dated back to the Cretaceous period, reigning as one of the key apex predators of the time, roughly around 95 to 100 million years ago. Strangely, this this amphibious predator had a large snail on its back as well as an elongated snout that resembled the maw of a crocodile, full to the brim with the same razor-sharp conical teeth. Astonishingly, researchers have surmised that the Spinosaurus was pretty much a dinosaur with its own version of a fishtail, highlighting the intense and complicated evolutionary process that were at play during the time of the dinosaurs. <laughs> Pullman or Scorpius? All right, nothing says terrifying ancient creature quite like a gigantic scorpion, right? Let's introduce you to the Pullman of Scorpius, literally meaning breathing scorpion. In ancient Greek, a creature that took the form of a giant scorpion that grew up to 30 inches in length and terrorized the undergrowth of the Vizen epic of the Carboniferous era. Like all species of scorpion that are still alive today, this one would have certainly been an apex predator pretty much dominating the dense ecosystems and tropical undergrowth of the era. As you may imagine, the colossal scorpion hunted by using the venom in its incredibly thick tail, laying in wait as an ambush predator lunging at its victim and stinging its prey until it died. Strangely, unlike its modern incarnations that live in jungles, rainforests and deserts, this creature thrived in swampy conditions, and it's thought that the abundant oxygen of the age caused it to grow to such a massive size. <laughs> Coprasuchus. Just when you think you've seen it all, the Coprasuchus comes along. Sure, we've had a whole host of terrifying lizards and reptiles, even razor-fanged felines of the ancient world, but few of them can compare to the sheer bizarre terror of the Coprasuchus, also known as the boar croc, as this terrifying prehistoric predator just so happens to resemble a horror-fueled hybrid of a ravenous wild boar and gigantic crocodile. As you may imagine, its name comes from the distinct three sets of teeth that look like the tusks of a wild boar, combined with its bulky snout and physique that resemble a crocodile. Although fossilized evidence of this creature is pretty thin on the ground, it's estimated that the boar croc measured in at nearly 20 feet in length and galloped on four legs, like a terrifying cross between a raptor and a tiger. It possessed three sets of tusk-like canine teeth that projected above and below the skull resulting in a skull definition never before seen in any other known croc, making it one of the most mysterious and terrifying members of its gene pool to have ever lived. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Helicoprian. Now, you'd be wise to imagine that the myriad species of ancient shark would be more than welcome on this list. After all, it's difficult to envision any other creatures that are as feared as the apex predators of the deep blue sea. From the great white to the hammerhead, the shark is feared for a very good reason. However, if you've ever heard of the Helicoprian, then you may be aware that this bizarre evolutionary offshoot gave a whole new meaning to the unrivaled destructive power of shark teeth. Instead of doing things the same way as its shark predecessors, the Helicoprian was designed to act exactly like a buzzsaw. Instead of its rows and rows of razor-sharp teeth, the Helicoprian employed what's known as a tooth whorl. Any fish armed with a weapon like this has to rank very highly on the list. A rarely seen evolutionary trait that looks like a cross between a circular saw and a regular jaw. Now, while this is a terrifying combination in its own right, this animal was speculated to dismember its prey through a prolonged sawing method, giving a whole new meaning to the terror of these shark apex predators. Thankfully, they're extinct. <laughs> Megalania. Nope, that's not the name of the current first lady, but instead, a much more terrifying giant reptile that slithered its way through the Pleistocene epic of ancient Australia, roughly around two and a half million years ago. Believe it or not, but the Megalania was a massive reptile that measured in at around 23 feet long, making it the largest lizard that's ever lived, roughly the same size of a saltwater crocodile today. Visually speaking, the Megalania resembled its closest living relative, the Komodo dragon, and it even possessed a similar venomous bite in its array of deadly and terrifying tools at its disposal. Although studies are still underway as to how this animal reigned supreme throughout ancient Australia, it's thought that, like most modern monitor lizards, this creature was an ambush predator that would lay in wait in the shadows of the dense undergrowth before pouncing out and ravaging its prey with its venomous saliva and vice-like jaws. Megalania is definitely extinct. Uh, it, it would be very unlikely that it's, it's alive today. I suspect that if you met one of these in the bush, you probably wouldn't live to tell the tale. Megalodon. Certainly, no list is complete without the Meg. Although nowhere near as large as some of the marine creatures that have made their way onto this list, this ancient sea creature, without a doubt, is the largest shark to have ever lived. Thankfully for us, they went extinct over three and a half million years ago, despite what a certain blockbuster movie will tell you. And evolution figured that scaling down the size of the average shark was in the planet's best interest. These monsters were huge, and there's a reason that Mother Nature deemed them fit for fine-tuning. Fossil evidence suggests that the Megalodon grew nearly 65 meters in length, over three times longer than the largest ever recorded great white shark. However, these figures are based entirely on the size of the Megalodon Ladon's teeth, as no complete skeleton has ever been discovered. You know what that means, right? They could have been even larger than we thought. The size of the Megalodon's teeth have been found to be as long as 7 inches, meaning that rows and rows of these gigantic and razor-sharp teeth were used to tear up pretty much every creature in the ocean. It's estimated that its jaw could open over 11 feet wide easily big enough to swallow two adult humans whole. For anyone with a fear of sharks, which is most people, the Megalodon is certainly one of the most terrifying ocean creatures to have ever existed. <laughs> Dunkleosteus Thankfully, although they're very much extinct, the Dunkleosteus gave a whole new meaning to the phrase, there's always a bigger fish. This 20-foot-long carnivorous tank redefined our image of the many species of fish that swim throughout the oceans in modern times. Believed to have existed during the late Devonian period, roughly around 360 million years ago, the Dunkleosteus is amongst the larger prehistoric fish to have ever lived, and it was believed to have roamed the ocean in small groups while hunting its prey. To defend itself, the Dunkleosteus was covered in an almost impenetrable armored shell, making it the largest armored sea creature to have ever lived. But that's not what made it so terrifying, because it's the power behind this creature's jaws that marks it as one of the most impressive monsters of the ancient world. This animal possessed jaws that could close with a bite force of over 7,000 newtons. And then to close again around a prey item was 50 to 60 milliseconds. And if you couldn't get a huge amount of force, and it's believed that it could have sheared off the flesh of its prey like a hot knife through butter. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Jackalopterus. Sure, while we've taken a look at the terrifying Pulmona scorpius, there's another terrifying ancient scorpid waiting in the wings to scare us senseless. As if we didn't have enough to deal with already, right? Well, while the previously mentioned creature measured in at roughly 30 inches, the terrifying Jackalopterus towered at over 8 feet in length. As the largest monster arthropod to have ever been discovered, it's thought that this horrifying aquatic scorpion prowled the ancient rivers and lakes of the prehistoric planet, believed to have reigned supreme over 400 million years ago. If that wasn't terrifying enough, we know what we know about this animal thanks to the discovery of its enormous claw found buried in a riverbed in Germany, one that measured in at nearly 20 inches. A single claw! What the heck? It isn't exactly clear why this creature grew to such a staggering size, but as with many monsters of a similar age, it's thought that the abundant oxygen-rich atmosphere of primal Earth had its part to play. Still terrifying. Hmm. <laughs> Arthropleura. Speaking of giant sea scorpions, how about giant bugs? Man, it's always the bugs, right? Well, if you thought that the slithering, creepy crawlies of the underworld could have escaped their way from this list, then think again, because the only thing keeping us safe from the largest land-dwelling bug of all time is, well, time. While the Arthropleura is very much extinct, believe us when we say that this thing is absolutely terrifying. Growing up to be more than one and a half feet wide and measuring in at over six feet long, this big bug was a essentially a giant millipede that scurried its way across the ancient planet around 345 million years ago. Believed to have been native to what is now North America and Scotland, the largest versions of these bugs are considered to be the largest known land invertebrates of all time, and they were considered to have no known predators. Yeah, while they're pretty much the plot from a sci-fi horror movie from the 50s, they were still very, very real. T-Rex. Of course, this list couldn't be complete without mentioning the king of all lizards, the tyrant monster villain, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the short-limbed, razor-sharp predator that terrorized the Jurassic period as the most iconic dinosaur to have ever lived. By far, the T-Rex is the most popular lizard to have ever captured the hearts and minds of human civilization, mainly thanks to the works of Jurassic Park and the legendary cinematic scenes that the T-Rex stars in. However, what's so incredible about this terrifying carnivore is just how wrong our assumptions have been about it, time and time again, calling into question just how ferocious this terrifying animal actually was. At 40 feet from head to tail and weighing in at an average of 9 tons, the T-Rex was certainly a big player in the world of giant dinosaurs. But as we've mentioned before, there were other contenders that beat it to the top spot. With a lifespan of just 30 years, the life and styles of the T-Rex have also been called into question, with recent data also suggesting that the king of the dinosaurs may have actually been a bit of a scavenger. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Liviatin Melivali. And for our final entry into this terrifying prehistoric world, behold the Liviatin, named after the legendary author Herman Melville and his fascination with the pursuit of the white whale in his novel Moby Dick, this ancient giant whale gives a whole new meaning to the cautionary tale of that classic piece of literature. Incredibly, this gigantic whale lived between 12 and 13 million years ago and is speculated to be one of the few whales to have ever primarily preyed on other smaller species of whale that it shared its ocean with, believed to have been roughly the same size as the modern-day sperm whale. This was a massive species of whale that feasted primarily on baleen whales. Yeah, it was really that large, though its teeth, which grew to a massive several feet in length, suggest that it may have been even larger. In fact, its only similar surviving species is believed to be the orca who used their massive and powerful jaws to rip and tear at the flesh of their prey in a similar manner. Whew, good thing these things died out, right? Well, there we have it, the 15 terrifying animals you're glad are extinct. What'd you guys think? Let us know your thoughts down below. As always, thanks for sticking around all the way until the end. You've been watching Missing Files. See you next time. <laughs>